Oh, hi, oh, Jesse Des, your Rosh Hashanah class. In this video, I'll be talking about all the reasons um, to play the ocarina. And this video is also an update to my previous videos of uh, Flute versus Ocarina and why I prefer the ocarina. I love the ocarina for its soft sound and uh, its ability, its simplicity. So I'll be going through all that. And now compared to the, the flute, uh, why is it softer? Is just simply because the flute is a uh, you know, a narrow, long tube that you're, and then your your sound is going to all come right out of here at the bottom, so it will sound louder. Now, the ocarina, the sound just reverberates around inside of it and comes out the, the bottom hole, which it does on this, has that too, but, um, so it's just louder. They're both beautiful instruments, but one's quieter than another. Um, I love the softness. So um, there's also a no, uh, not really blocking or squeaking problem with the ocarina. Um, probably not going to have that problem with the flute, even as a professional. Uh, the There's sometimes, you know, if your finger don't quite cover the, the hole right when you come down, um, you can get a little squeaking or blocking. Maybe a little blocking in here if there's too much moisture in the airway. I have had that sometimes. Uh, but once you learn how to breathe through it and play it properly, you will probably won't ever have that problem. Uh, another thing is there's uh, low maintenance. The, the recorders require a lot of maintenance, like you have to oil it and put some alcohol on a certain part and leave it set and don't touch for 24 hours. And, and then they don't really last for a long, long time. Uh, they could last pretty long to take good care of them. But plus, you got to hold them under your arm before you play it, and, and the ocarina is, is none of that stuff required. All you got to do is wipe it now and then with a cloth. Um, and uh, on the long-lasting, the, there are ocarinas out there that are a hundred years old, and they still play and sound beautiful. And uh, the the sound actually improves with ocarinas. Um, and it improves with this too. If anything, I think made of wood and clay, the sound will improve over time. Now, there are other instruments that require tuning, uh, part replacements. Uh, the ocarina needs none of that. It's always in tune, always ready to play. You don't have to put it together. Um, so it's it's very simple. Switching chambers compared to blowing harder. On the penny whistle, you have to blow harder and harder as you go up the scale, so your, your pressure kind of changes as you're going. And uh, um, especially for the recorder, then you have to pinch the thumb hole on the second octave and start in a different spot. And um, so even I still screw up going second to first octave and you're getting the air pressure a little bit wrong and then you pick up a different key and you have to um, readjust a little bit a little bit softer now a little bit harder um, the ocarina chamber switching I think is a lot easier it is pretty even air pressure through the whole range you can you have more range on uh, the one side before you even have to switch to the next so that makes it a lot easier. Definitely more range. Now this is the triple well into the third octave and even the highest notes on that is, is fine. Um, but the double ocarina has one note higher than the tin whistle, a high C. Uh, I wouldn't want to use the highest notes of the tin whistle anyway. That's just um, too high and shrill. And now some songs I can't even do on the penny whistle because it's not a transposing instrument. As the ocarina is a concert pitch and a transposing instrument. Not the ten hole or six hole little penny ocarinas, those are not. Um, but this one can go all the way down to B, B flat, and A. Now the keys. Penny whistles are available in three or four different keys. 
and the recorders they're not really available in different keys they're they come in there's a little sopranino and then there's a soprano the alto the tenor the bass and these huge contrabass ones and it's really hard to reach the holes on the alto and then the tenor i don't know how people play um, it's not really a solo instrument that one but it they sound really good together but the ocarina it's available in lots of different keys and in in that for there is a little 12 hole sopranino um an stl cell and then there's a there is a soprano ocarina that is available in three keys alone g f and c and then then the alto of course the standard alto c everybody uses that one but there's also a g f and there is a place that makes some um, 12 holes in d and then there there is no tenor but actually the bass ocarina is the tenor and then there's this contrabass which is actually the bass and they're huge so all these key options make it great for whatever song you're going to play uh, match it with what key sounds good in that song um, but the other flutes not really have that option quite so much. Chords and harmony. Other flutes can't really do chords and harmony like the ocarina can. Uh, Multi-chamber ocarinas can do some chords, but uh, Songbird Ocarina actually does design this uh, Triple Harmony Ocarina designed to do chords. It should be called the Triple Chords Ocarina. And the fingering is a little different on the second and third chamber, um, but you can do a lot more chords on it. You can, you can even do three notes at the same time in, in some of those combos, like a C major. You can maybe pull off one of those. I think I can pull off one of them. Uh, but if you play around with it, maybe even do those. But yeah, just two notes at, at a time. Um, but these are these are so awesome, and only the ocarina can do that. And they also design ocarinas like uh, the harmony ocarina, or called the duet ocarina. Um, it is only an eight-note major scale, but it one side is like a clef. Uh, on each side, eight-note major scale. So. So I love having the availability with ocarinas, chords, or harmony. And you can practically slur from any note to any note. You can just by sliding your next finger or uh, sliding your thumb hole, uh, you can slide into the next three notes. And the flute can't do that. Um, and you can even slur chords. And you can kind of slur into the next chamber even. Um, if you lift your pinky for the D sharp really quick. And you kind of. Now the fingering. Some people think that the fingering is a lot different, the sharps and flats are different, and there's different ways, and it's just, you gotta hold it different and, uh, than the flute, and that's actually not true. Uh, really, well look here, the, your left hand, you hold up here, and your right hand down here for the flute, and starting the low notes down here, and it's exactly the same as, as the ocarina. Your left hand's up here, your right hand is down here, and you just leave your uh, left hand pinky down um, and, uh, and and on all the fluid it just kind of hangs around and maybe gets in the way. Um, now the uh, sharps and plats, they're actually more convenient, uh, but you can do it the same way. You can just half cover the next hole uh, like the flute or skip a hole and cover the next one. Uh, but the more convenient way for um, 
these are just to like the like the C sharp and D sharp starting with them you just also cover sub hole slide over cover the sub hole too and you got your flat and when you get up here to F sharp G sharp and A sharp you just hold your um, ring finger down in your right hand and then you got them and then you can play them together really fast that's something that you cannot do on the flute um, and then for the C sharp you just hold these two here and then you just go to the next chamber and you, one of them is a sub hole making that easier but you have the options um, you just oh you, you lift your pinky here only when you want the D sharp so uh, so see it's actually really simple I uh, definitely believe that this ocarina is more convenient it is a very um, overlooked instrument very underrated um, so please get the word out share this video with others or tell me what you think in the comics this was uh, helpful uh, also the ocarina can do uh, a note more than one way and uh, the flute can't do that except for one note so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching arigato